September 2024. So on September 22nd, we have the sun moving out of Virgo energy, moving into Libra energy. This triggers the equinox energy, which of course means that there's equal day to equal night. And karmically speaking, we are rebalancing, resetting the karmic scales. Problematic area for us, though, this season anyways, because we're in eclipse season, because we are going through this equinox smack dab in the middle of eclipse season, a lot of the rebalancing energies, a lot of the light fluffy vibes that we usually experience when we move into Libra season, when we have that karmic reset, likely will not be felt until post eclipse season. So it's going to be a little bit of a wackadoodle type of vibe little bit of a wackadoodle type of energy as we move through this particular gateway here this weekend. And we have a lot of shifting to do. We have a lot of peace, harmony and balance to try and achieve. But of course, with Libra energy, although that's the goal, we do tend to experience the extremes in trying to achieve that peace, harmony and balance. Basically, Libra season really focuses in on relationships, starting with the relationship with thyself. Yes, we are very concerned with the relationship dynamics that we have with other people, but you have to remember that Libra energy acts as a mirror, meaning the people that we have in our lives, the relationship dynamics that we're engaged in, those people are mirroring back to us the parts of self that we still need to do a deep dive in and that we have to grow through, evolve through and heal. And so again, although we are trying to find peace, harmony and balance, not only within ourselves, between our heart and our head, not only between our inner realm and our outer realm, not only between us and other people and the world around us, a lot of Libra season is going to be very bumpy, really seeing one part of those scales reach a high high while the other part of that scale is a very low low. And then we switch it and we find that that low part comes into high and that high part comes into low and it takes us the majority of Libra season to strike a balance. This year, because the eclipse energy is kind of overlapping Libra season and this equinox, we really are going to see that fluctuation be very dramatic. Again, we're going to experience the high highs, then experience the low lows before we ever strike that common ground. Where relationships are concerned, though, we've been just kind of anchoring in this new version of self and the Libra energy, because the south node of the moon is on this Libra axis, we have already perfected people pleasing. We have already perfected dimming our own light in order to make other people stand in the spotlight. We've already perfected putting our own wants, needs and desires on the back burner in order for other people's wants, needs and desires to be at the top of the list. And so there's going to be an interesting dynamic at play here just because, again, the eclipse energies, karmically speaking, trying to remove certain people, places and things out of our lives in order for us to wrap up that particular karmic chapter so that we can have a clean space and a clean slate to start building towards something new because of the karmic energy that we're still very much in because of that full moon, lunar eclipse and Pisces energy. Now moving into the relationship sector, this is when we're going to see soul contracts come up for renewal, some will be terminated, and new ones will likely be initiated as well. So it's going to be a very interesting Libra season. Now, thinking back to last year, we had a beautiful opportunity to jump timelines. But of course, that didn't happen because of the shit show that popped off in the Middle East. Again, this time, because we have this equinox gateway, we have this eclipse gateway. I don't necessarily think that we're in for another timeline jump as much as we are trying to anchor in, if you will, the options and the opportunities that we currently have available to us. And again, we're in eclipse season. That's almost as if we've taken a deck of cards, we've thrown it up in the air. We are not going to see how those cards actually fall uh, for essentially till the end of October. Now we're going to start seeing little bits of hints and clues of what that actually is going to mean for us before the end of October. But essentially we are eclipsed. We're blinded. 
from the information we need. We're blinded from the truth. We're blinded from the reality. We think we may know, but we have no damn clue. So karmically speaking, I would say that because we're in an elimination completion type of phase, and now we're moving into a time where if we weren't in an eclipse season, that we would be balancing our karma, we would be balancing the energy exchanges in our lives. I really don't think that much of that is going to happen until post eclipse season. And so, yeah, we're going to double down with the relationship dynamic that we're building within ourselves with this new version of self, identifying new wants, needs, and desires. Again, dropping down into the heart space. Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money ruler over this Libra season. Yeah, she's in her rulership the minute that we dip into Libra energy, but just hours after we enter into this Libra season, she is piecing out from this Libra energy, and she is moving into Scorpio energy. There's a whole separate astro forecast for that particular event. Just know that again, things are going to intensify in our heart space, major change, major transformation in our heart space. Libra season, a cardinal air energy, cardinal energies are where we pivot where there is a change of season, a change in path, a change in direction, a change in our overall self. So yes, we want to find peace, harmony and balance within ourselves within everything that we're doing. Is it going to happen? Well, probably, but definitely on the latter part sooner, definitely not happening under this eclipse energy. As we attempt to restore the peace, harmony and balance in our lives. Again, we're not really in power and in control because we have this eclipse energy kind of, again, we, we, we take a back seat. Uh, the universe is in control. The universe is going to put us on the path that we failed to put ourselves upon. And that's going to be a very interesting dynamic because, of course, we're kind of walking blind. We're in a Delulu state at this particular point in time. Thank you, full moon, lunar eclipse and Pisces for that. The indecisiveness that comes with Libra energy is going to have us absolutely tortured within ourselves. Should we do this? Should we do that? And again, you don't have all the information available to you. So you should actually remove the pressure from yourself to choose to decide until after this eclipse season comes to pass. We have to weigh the pros and cons of all situations. Again, we're just coming out of Virgo season where the whole focus was supposed to be identifying the problems in order to fix them, heal them, repair them. That was a mutable season. Mutability illuminates new information, new situations, new circumstances. Once we're prevent, presented with new information and new perspectives, then we actually have to do something about it. That's why cardinal energy follows mutable energy because the cardinal energy initiates. We have the information to support this major change. Now we have to initiate said change. But again, we're not in power and control until after the eclipse energy actually dissipates. So we're going to be indecisive as hell. That's basically, you know, what the Libra energy is all about. We are still kind of in the shallow end of our thoughts and our emotions. We want to wear a nice, happy, go lucky mask. We want to focus on the positives. But underneath the surface of our awareness, there's a lot of turbulence going on. And so we don't really want to rock the boat. We don't want to poke the bear. We don't want to have to be the bad guy. We don't want to have to kind of, you know, do the hard things that just happen to be the right things that we know that we're going to have to do eventually. We're just trying to kind of stay afloat and we're trying to smile our way through, which again is a little bit of a toxic positivity type of demeanor. But nonetheless, we're just trying to focus on the positives float through this particular time, energy, and space until we're presented with a little bit more of a solid decision, action, or choice point. Now, there's always a downside to energies. There's always a struggle. And Libra energy can be very self-serving, which of course is an interesting dynamic because you got people pleasing on one side of the scale, you know, sacrificing your own wants, needs, and desires to make other people happy on one side of the scale. And then on the other side of the scale, you could be very self-serving. You could be self-promoting, if you will. There is a huge level of passive aggressiveness that takes over each and every single one of us in this Libra and energy. And again, one day we're up, the next day we're down, and sometimes not even a day. One hour we're up, one hour we're down. And we're trying very, very hard to strike a balance each and every single thought, 
idea, emotion, situation, conversation, and circumstance. So like I said, although surface level, we're trying to be happy, go lucky, we're trying to find peace, harmony and balance. We essentially are really sticking in this shallow end. And we could typically just gloss over a lot of those important details. We don't want to go to the deep end, even though there is something festering underneath the surface of our awareness, we're just not ready to do a deep dive. Because when we do a deep dive, and we realize that we can't take things anymore that we're tired of putting on the fake facade, then we have to do something about it. And we really don't want to do anything about it until we're sure that that's the right thing to do. And we're not going to arrive at that particular certainty until Libra season is coming to a close. So Libra season is a time for us to be a little bit more social, a little bit more, let's call it compromising. We're open minded, we're open hearted, we're looking to negotiate, especially with relationship dynamics that probably took a not so nice turn as of late, we want to bring that back into a harmonious type of interaction. It's going to be a very hard thing to do, especially under this eclipse energy. But nonetheless, this is a time for us to kind of again, find the best way for everyone to be getting along for everyone to be on the same page for everybody to be peachy keen, even though we under the surface aren't as happy go lucky as we are presenting ourselves to be. And so there's going to be some interesting aha moments, some interesting epiphanies that pop off throughout Libra season. But again, under the eclipse energy, we're not going to make much sense of it until the eclipse energy comes to pass. We are trying to kind of restore justice as well. Um, if we've been wronged in the past, or again, you know, fighting, advocating for others who have been wronged in the past, you know, justice, Lady Liberty, definitely a major focus with this Libra season as well. But again, we're missing a lot of the details because of eclipse season. And so we might actually be, you know, holding space and holding the line and advocating for something or someone that we're not fully informed about. And that may come back and bite us in the butt. So we're just kind of being more aware of ourselves. Why? Because we are becoming more aware of the people that we're sharing time and energy and space with. And some people are going to trigger us and activate us in the wrong ways. And that again, is just mirroring back to you where it is that you have some more work to do within yourself. So although partnerships are definitely in the spotlight, it all starts with the relationship dynamic that you're building within yourself. Everyone else that you have in your life is mirroring back the dynamics that you're actually sharing within yourself. So if your relationship with yourself is good, well, likely you have a pretty good relationship dynamic going with other people. If the relationship dynamic is not so strong, not so stable within yourself, then you are going to be surrounding yourself with people that are going to trigger and activate the parts of you that need a little bit more work so that you can boss up and really find yourself in a new level of self-confidence, self-worth, self-esteem. This is definitely going to be an interesting Libra season, again, just because we do have this eclipse energy kind of casting a confusion fog a delusion fog over us at this time. But nonetheless, we're going to give it all that we've got. We're definitely going to see a lot of roles shift in our physical rounds where people are concerned. We may be watching a lot of people exit. There could be a potential for a few brand new people to make an entrance because again, soul contracts are up for renewal. Renewal.